Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if the start menu is not working properly in Windows 11. So let's say that the start menu is stuck and it doesn't work properly, it's frozen and you can't access it. Well that means that we will do most of the solutions using the Ctrl plus Alt plus Delete key combo, which takes you to an options menu, which relates to the task manager. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to restart your computer. As simple as it may sound, it can fix a lot of issues. So press on Ctrl, Alt, Delete on your keyboard and then in that menu make sure to click on the power icon and then select the restart option. After restarting your computer, check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to use command prompt. So make sure to press on Ctrl, Alt, Delete to open the task manager menu and then select task manager from the list of options. Now in the task manager window make sure to click on the file tab and then run new task. In here just simply type cmd and then press on ok. Now in the command prompt window make sure to copy paste the following command that I posted in the description below. After pressing on enter simply restart your computer and then check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution that you can also do in task manager is to restart Windows Explorer. So once again, access Task Manager via Ctrl, Alt, Delete and then in the Task Manager window scroll down until you find the Windows Explorer service and click on it, then select the Restart option. But don't panic if everything will turn white. That means Windows Explorer is simply restarting and then it will come back to normal. Afterwards, you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution that works as well in Task Manager is to use the PowerShell as administrator. Again, press on Ctrl, Alt and Delete to open a new task manager window and then press on the file tab and run new task. In here, simply type PowerShell and then make sure to tick the box next to create this task with administrative privileges. Now press on OK. And as you can see, we have a PowerShell window which is running as an administrator. Now the last thing you have to do is simply copy paste the following command that you'll find in the description below and then press on Enter. This will restart all the start menu services and afterwards you can restart your computer and then check if the problem still persists. And that's it! Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you!